Do you remember the last time you bought a laptop and were unboxing it for the first time? I don't know about you, but I love that feeling as it boots up. It's so fast, sleek, the screen is even clean, and it smells new. Years ago, when I was a systems administrator in the law library, it was always fun to see the smiles on students' faces when they would bring their shiny new laptops into my office to get help setting up their Wi-Fi connection. So I was quite surprised when one day Jen, a third-year law student, came into my office with a distressed look on her face, asking for help with her brand new laptop. As I started working on her new MacBook, I gently asked her if she was doing okay. After a long pause, I looked up from her laptop and saw that she was starting to tear up. Slowly, and with a tremor in her voice, she told me that on Saturday night she had been woken up in the middle of the night to the loud noise of the fire alarm outside her bedroom in the basement suite she was living in. She had been completely asleep and was confused for a few seconds before she realized that the shrieking alarm was not part of a bad dream. When she opened her door, she could smell the acrid smoke as she breathed and immediately grabbed her phone, her jacket, and threw on her shoes before running out to the sidewalk in front of her house. It wasn't until everyone, both upstairs and down, were safely out of the house and the fire trucks had arrived and were pumping huge amounts of water onto the still burning house that she realized that her laptop, which had three major papers she was currently working on, sitting on her desk in the bedroom. It wasn't until the next morning, after sleeping at a friend's house, that she got a call from the fire department, letting her know that her laptop had been completely destroyed in the fire. As a tear started to run down her cheek in my office, I couldn't bring myself to ask if she'd backed up the files on her laptop, but she answered my question without prompting. She said, I thought I was doing everything right and being safe by backing up all my important assignments and files onto my external drive. But that external drive was destroyed in the fire alongside my laptop. Because of Jen's experience, I always recommend to students that they should not only back up important files to an external drive, but also to an online backup service that won't burn down in a fire or get stolen. In other words, you want a 3-2-1 backup plan. Have three copies of all important files backed up on two different types of media, an external drive and a Google Drive, for example, and at least one at a different location to your laptop. This is what Jen did with her new laptop. And even though she hasn't experienced any house fires or had her laptop stolen since then, she now has the peace of mind knowing that no matter what happens to her laptop or external drive, she'll always have a backup of all her important files, including those that can't be replaced in any other way.